Donald Trump called time on his birthday plans Wednesday evening when he drove to MedStar Washington Hospital Center to visit Congressman Steve Scalise. The House Majority Whip had been critically injured that morning while playing baseball with his GOP colleagues when a deranged gunman opened fire on the group. That wasn't the only disruption to Trump's 71st birthday celebrations. Shortly before the visit, it emerged that the Russia probe headed by special counsel Robert Mueller had now widened to include the president who is now under investigation for obstruction of justice. Trump had spent the early part of the evening with kids Eric, Donald Jr. and Ivanka as well as their respective spouses and kids. All had photos of themselves at the White House on Instagram, though without Trump himself present in the images. But as darkness fell the president and wife Melania got into a motorcade and took off for MedStar Washington Hospital Center in Washington. That's where Scalis had been taken that morning after being hit in the hip by a rifle round fired by disgruntled Trump hater James T. Hodgkinson. Hodgkinson, 66, of Illinois, had also managed to injure a Congress staffer and two police officers before being shot dead. All three of the injured parties are expected to make full recoveries. It's not known whether Scalise was conscious when the Trumps arrived, but the president spoke with his family in the intensive care unit, suggesting that might not be the case. Trump sat by Scalise's bedside during the half-hour visit, which press secretary Sean Spicer called emotional. Scalise is still in critical condition and will need more surgeries, his official Twitter account said. The bullet traveled across his pelvis, fracturing bones, injuring internal organs and causing severe bleeding, it said in a statement. It added. His condition is critical and he will require additional operations. While at the hospital, Trump also met with Capitol Police Officer Crystal Griner, who was shot in the ankle as she defended the GOP representatives and senators during the attack and he greeted other Capitol Police cops who had gathered at the hospital, thanking them for the service. The Trumps was later seen exiting the hospital, guided out by Dr. Ira Laban. He shook Laban's hand before departing. After leaving, he tweeted, More just left hospital. Rep. Steve Scalise, one of the truly great people, is in very tough shape, but he is a real fighter. Pray for Steve. The horrific shooting wasn't the only blight on Trump's big day. It also emerged Wednesday that he had become a subject in the ever-widening Russia probe. Following the congressional testimony of ex-FBI director and former probe head James Comey, Trump is now suspected of obstructing the course of justice, the Washington Post reported. Comey confirmed the Congress claims made in his leaked memo that Trump has told him to squash an investigation into National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Flynn was accused of having improper communications with Russia prior to Trump actually taking up the mantle of president. The probe, which is investigating claims that Trump's associates had dealings with Moscow as well as hacks by Russia during the presidential election had never before been directed at Trump himself. But now, sources have told the Post that special counsel Robert Mueller, whom Trump had picked to lead the investigation after he fired Comey, is looking at the president. Comey had previously assured Trump that he was not being investigated, but that it changed shortly after he was fired, the five sources said. Mueller's team is actively pursuing potential witnesses both inside and outside the government, the officials claimed. Daniel Coates. The current director of national intelligence, Mike Rogers. Head of the National Security Agency and Rogers' recently departed deputy, Richard Leggett, have agreed to be interviewed as early as this week, insiders claimed. Earlier on Wednesday, Trump had praised the heroic actions of the officers who took down Hodgkinson in a speech. He said that many lives would have been lost if they had not been there. Scalise was in surgery and stable at the time of Trump's address. 
Congressman Scalise is a friend and a very good friend. He's a patriot and he's a fighter, Trump said. He will recover from this assault and Steve, I want you to know that you have the prayers, not only of the entire city behind you, but of an entire nation and, frankly, the entire world. Trump called off a trip to the Department of Labor on Wednesday as Washington reeled over the shooting. The president had planned to sign an executive order at the department and deliver a speech on the White House's apprenticeship initiative. Also on Wednesday, House Speaker Paul Ryan addressed his colleagues in a floor speech in which he called for the representatives to come together across partisan divides. Pointing to a photo of Democrats praying for the wounded, he said, You know, every day, we come here to test and challenge each other. We feel so deeply about the things we fight for and believe in. At times, our emotions can get the best of us. We are all imperfect. But we do not shed our humanity when we enter this chamber. He concluded by saying, These were our brothers and sisters in the line of fire, and that an attack on one of us is an attack on all of us. He was followed by minority leader Nancy Pelosi, who noted her shared Italian heritage with Scalise. She told lawmakers, I pray for all of you, all of you together every Sunday, now not just for the well-being, but also for the safety.